Hi friends, it's Sophie. I'm so glad you landed on this class because this is a good one. We're doing chest opening, back opening, shoulder opening. We're doing some twisting and binding and some good back bends. We also get in some hamstring stretching and some hip stretching. So pretty much a good well-rounded class for when you just need to open up your whole body. This is a level two class, a little bit more on the advanced side. So I would recommend having some experience before you do this class. And you don't really need any props. If you have blocks on a strap, they might come in handy, but you absolutely don't need that. So we're getting started right now and I'll see you on the mat. Welcome to your practice. Today we're starting in child's pose. Bring the knees wide, the feet together, sit your hips back and crawl your fingertips forward. And then right away, make the hands go as far forward as you can so you really get a big stretch, almost as if your elbows are lifting off of the ground. And then start to deepen your breath and lengthen your breath. So the inhales are longer and the exhales are even longer. From there, slide on up into tabletop and bring your elbows down to the ground. Bring the hands together in prayer and let your forehead go to the ground and the thumbs come to the back of the neck. So you might crawl your elbows forward a little bit more to get more of a stretch and then let your chest sink to the ground and then draw your belly up and in. So there is a sen sense of control within the torso even though you're sinking down. And one more full breath. This should feel really good. You're right in the upper back there between the shoulder blades. And then take your arms out in front of you and slowly come back up into tabletop. Tuck your toes, walk your hands back, and lift your knees up off the ground if you can to sink down into, towards your heels towards the ground. So it's a stretch for the lower calf muscles, the, the Achilles tendon. Good, and then come back onto your hands and knees and turn the hands around. Keep your toes tucked and just move forwards and backwards. Warming up the wrists. We're gonna be on the wrists a little bit today. So maybe take some little circles. And if this feels really intense, just keep doing it every day and it will get better and better. So just opening up the forearms. And if it's your first time doing this, it can feel like a lot. And turn the hands back around. Good. And just check in with your hands and make sure the fingers are spread and you're pressing through the insides of your knuckles. And then lift your knees and hips for downward facing dog and take some movement once you get there to really settle into your down dog. Whether it's your first down dog of the day or maybe you've already done one or two, maybe you've already practiced. Either way, just take the time to settle into it as if it was definitely the first one. Giving your body space to get set up, space to warm up. And then find stillness and lift your tailbone high and press the hands into the ground so that your shoulders move up towards your ears and your, and your tailbone reaches up high at the same time. And let, let the heels be high. We're not worrying about the heels touching the ground. In fact, I don't even re really recommend that most of the time. Take one more breath. Then walk your hands back to meet the feet at the back of the mat. So your feet are at least hip distance apart. Bend your left knee, keep your left fingertips down and then reach the right arm up and open it up. Notice if that left shoulder is in your ear, can you draw it back and down and reach your right arm even more. So your left knee is bent, your right leg is straight but with a micro bend. 
You're just getting a lot of lift. You'll feel it in the, in the right outer edge of the right leg. Inhale, exhale, put your right hand down, bend your right knee, straighten your left leg and reach your left arm up to the sky. And again, create more space uh, between the shoulders, on the chest, on the upper back. Inhale. Exhale, set your hand back down. Walk your hands all the way out to plank and pause here in plank. Okay. Press your thighs upwards without lifting your hips, so just engage your thighs. And then move forwards and backwards. You'll feel a stretch in your calves. And we're just, again, warming up the wrists and just priming the whole body for this strong class. Good. And then go back to downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Look forward. Walk your feet up to your hands or hop if you want. Halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. On your inhale, stand and reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Bring your arms down by your sides. Inhale, reach the arms up and look up. Cactus your arms, take a back bend. And then reach them up again and pause here. Bend your left elbow, grab onto the left elbow with the right hand. Take a breath. Bring the um, left hand to your, the back of your neck. Take an inhale, and on your exhale, side bend to the right. Draw your lower right ribs in to really crunch in the right side body, and the left side body gets more length because of that. Feel the rib cage opening, the space between each rib expanding, and then come back to center. Grab onto your right elbow with your left hand, inhale, exhale, side bend to the left. Same principle, same alignment as the other side. And then come back up to center and reach your arms up. Inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step your left foot back behind you into lunge. Fingertips on the ground. Lower the back knee down just to tap the ground. Open the chest and then lift it back up into lunge and straighten your right leg for a modified pyramid. So you're keeping your back leg far back there with the heel lifted and you lengthen and fold over your right leg. Walk the fingertips forward. Just getting into the hamstrings and the calves. Can you wiggle the hips side to side a bit? And see how that puts the emphasis on different parts of the back line of the right leg. Okay, and then re-bend your right knee. Step forward, halfway lift, and step your right foot back behind you. Okay, tap your knee down to the ground slowly. Draw the shoulders back. You're not really cranking the neck up. You're just opening with the chest. And then lift your knee and straighten your left leg. Lengthen your spine and walk the hands forward as you fold. Keep the left big toe down on the ground and wiggle the hips or sway the hips gently side to side. And by side to side, I mean you're kind of bringing the right hip forward and the left hip back, so you're changing the pelvis a bit. And if you're really tight here in the hamstrings and you just want to stay still and work through that, then please do. Some days it feels good to move dynamically. Some days stillness feels really good. On your inhale, come back into lunge. Good. And exhale, step to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, stand, reach your arms up to the sky. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Bring your arms down by your sides. And inhale, chair pose. Exhale, pause here. Inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank. 
breathe. Shift forward. Lower all the way down to the ground. Take your fingertips outside of your mat and forward, and then lift your chest up for cobra. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. So that was just a variation of cobra. Plant your hands, tuck your toes. Press all the way up to plank in one straight line. Downward facing dog. Take your right leg up to the sky. Inhale. On your exhale, step your foot between your hands. Put your back heel down. We're rising up to warrior one. Reach those arms up. Bend deep into your right knee. Press back through your left thigh. Remember that your hips aren't squared perfectly forward. They're going to be a little bit angled to the left. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands down to the ground. Step back to plank, and then take side plank with your feet staggered, facing the right side. So even if you can, can put your right foot on top of your left, just don't for right now. The feet are staggered, the right foot's in front, left foot behind. Then take your right arm over your ear. Good, and we're staying here for three, two, one. Come into plank, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Put your back heel down and rise up to warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, put your hands down. Step back to plank. Side plank facing the left side. Take your left arm up. Your feet are staggered instead of stacked. And take your left arm over your ear. Strong through that right arm. Move the right shoulder blade down your back for three, two, one. Come into plank. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Look forward. Step or hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Uttanasana. Utkatasana chair. Reach the arms up, sit low, and then hands to your heart and stand. Arms down by your sides. Good. Chair pose again. Inhale, reach the arms up, sit low. Exhale, fold. So we're moving through sun B again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop back, or actually step back to plank. We're not hopping yet. <laughs> Ignore me. Okay, shift forward, pause here, and lower all the way down to the ground. Again, bring your fingertips out to the sides and open up your chest. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Plant your hands under your elbows, tuck your toes, and press all the way up to plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Lift your right leg up, inhale. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Warrior one again, we're gonna add on to this. So come up to warrior one. Take your arms out wide. Interlace your hands behind your back. Open up your chest. Humble warrior. So go down inside of your right leg. Right shoulder, right inside of that right knee. Good, and then rise back up and reach your arms up. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands down. Step back to plank, side plank facing the right. So roll over this time. St you can stack your feet and you reach your right arm up and then over your ear. Good, inhale, exhale, bring your hand down to the ground. There's a spider. Okay, come into plank, <laughs> and then downward facing dog. <laughs> Lift your left leg up. I think I scared the spider away. Step your foot between your hands, put your back heel down, and reach your arms up, warrior one. Take your arms behind you, interlace your hands with the opposite thumb on top, which way feels weird, do that one, and fold into humble warrior. Your back leg stays straight. Left shoulder is right inside of your left knee or maybe on top of your left knee. And let the arms go up and over as much as you can. Rise back up, humble or warrior one. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down. Step back to plank. Now we take side plank facing the left side, feet stacked on top of each other, and reach your arm up and then reach it over your ear. 
for three, two, one. Come into plank, downward facing dog. Look forward and step or hop forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair. Exhale, hands to your heart as you stand all the way up. Arms down by your sides. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reach your right leg up to the sky, bend your knee, open your hip. And then straighten your right leg back out. Square your hips, inhale. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Rise up to warrior one, reach those arms up. Not warrior one, high lunge, keep your back heel lifted. So rise up to high lunge. On your exhale, warrior two. So you're opening up to the left side, bending deep into your right knee. And then take your right forearm, bring it on your right thigh, and your left arm over your ear towards the front of the room. And then take your left arm up and take a half bind with your left arm behind your back. And reach your right arm forward. You got it, hold it here. Keep rotating your ribs to the sky. Spread the toes. Good, come up to a reverse warrior. So keep your left arm behind you. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down into low lunge, pause here, and set your back knee down. And then reach your arms up for Anjaneyasana. Good. Take your arms straight out in front of you and take your right arm back behind you as you twist to the right. And you can stay here or you can put your right hand down towards your back thigh or maybe your calf and take a little twisty bend, twisty back bend. And be mindful of your low back here. If you feel any pain, back off. And come back up to an open arm twist. Bring your hands to your heart and twist over, hook your elbow over your right knee, thumbs in line with the center of the chest and revolve around your spine to the right. Come back to center, reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands down to the ground. Lift your back knee, plant your left hand, reach your right arm up. So again, we're twisting and we're stepping into side planks. We're doing a lot of side planks today, right? So we're stepping back, right foot on top of left, and then lift your right leg up. Bend your right knee so your knee points to the ceiling or the sky. And then slowly put the right toes behind you for wild thing. And open up your chest. Bring your right fingertips behind your head. Good, take your right arm back up. Bring your right hand down, three-legged dogs. So take your leg up and back. Inhale, and exhale, shift forward to a three-legged plank. Good, hold here. Come up onto your left fingertips. And then reach your left arm forward. Good, inhale. And then exhale, bring your knee to your elbow. You got it. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. One more. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Plank, exhale. Downward facing dog. Ooh, okay. Lift your left leg up. Bend your knee, open your hip. Make sure you're plugging the right hip back so you're not sinking into it. Straighten your left leg out. Inhale. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Inhale, rise up to high lunge. Exhale, pause. Inhale. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Good, and then reach forward, put your left forearm on your thigh and your right arm. Take it all the way over your ear. Make sure you don't dump into the left shoulder, so keep the shoulder back and down. Keep the legs strong, the, the ribs draw in. 
Good. And then take your right arm up and bring the hand behind the back for half bind. Make sure you're plugging the right shoulder back and then reach your left arm forward. Keep breathing evenly. Ujjayi breath, in and out of the nose. Slight restriction of the back of the throat. Reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, pause and low lunge, and then set your back knee down and rise up to Anjaneyasana, reach your arms up. Plug the hips towards each other. Take your arms straight out in front of you, shoulders back, and then take the left arm back behind, twist. And then bring the left fingertips to the back of the thigh and the right arm up and over so you're in a a little bit of a back bend and a twist. Come upright. Bring your arms, uh, bring your hands to your heart, actually, and twist. Hook your right elbow over your left knee. Good. And to get deeper, you kind of have to suck the belly in a little bit, and that gives you more space to twist. So on the inhale or on the exhale, belly goes in and you twist. And then once you get into your twist, you just keep breathing as deep and evenly as you can. Keep pressing the hands together. Notice what the left toes are doing. Are they gripping? If they are, let them go. And then come to center and reach your arms up. Inhale, exhale, place your hands down. Lift your back knee, keep your right hand down, take your left arm up. And gently step back into side plank as evenly as you can. And then lift your left leg up and bend your knee so the knee points to the sky. Point the toes. Slowly, slow as you can, step to a wild thing. Just place the left foot behind you. Bring the left fingertips to the head and open your chest. All right, come back around, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Shift forward to three-legged plank, all the way forward. Hip, don't cheat with your hips, keep your hips low. Come onto your right fingertips. Take your right arm forward, you got this. Either stay here or inhale, and exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Hand and foot come back, back down. Down dog. If that felt nearly impossible, it's okay because it should. And then as you start to do it more, it becomes a lot more accessible. Okay. Look forward and step or hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now take your feet a little bit wider and take your right shoulder and bend your knees. Bring your right shoulder underneath your right leg. Right fingertips behind your right foot. You can actually hold onto the ankle. And then take your right arm and you're gonna bring the back of the right hand to the lower back or to the right butt. And take your left arm up and grab onto the right fingertips so you're in a full bind. If you can't get the full bind, just do a half bind, it's fine. You could have just the left arm behind. And then start to straighten your leg. So you could, one option, uh, if that's too hard, is to put your right hand on your ankle and your left arm is in a half bind. If you can get the full bind, keep straightening, keep straightening, and twisting to the left. It should feel like a really good stretch in the right shoulder. If you don't have the bind, very, if you don't have your shoulder really close to behind your knee, then you might not feel the stretch and that's okay. Just breathe with me. And then gently release, back down. We're gonna do the other side. So left arm, left shoulder comes underneath your left leg. And then grab onto the ankle. Take your left arm around, back of the hand to the low back. Take your right arm up and then take a full bind and start to straighten out your legs and twist to your right. Everybody, again, everyone's bodies are different. So if this particular position doesn't work for you, then just do something that's similar. Make it work for you. That's the practice, is making it work. 
Straighten out the left leg a little more to get more stretch. And then release. Bring your hands down and come into squat, into malasana. And place the hands together. Press your elbows into your knees. And chest is open. Breathe. Okay. Either stay here or take bakasana, crow pose. If you're taking crow, I won't really lead you through it, but take it if you know it. Knees up into the upper arms and you can balance. If you're in malasana, stay there and enjoy that. If you're in crow, you're gonna hop it back to chaturanga or just set your feet back down. You can move through upward facing dog. And let's all meet in down dog. So everyone meet there. Inhale. Exhale. Shift forward into plank. Lower all the way down to the ground. Untuck your toes. And then bring your hand, arms out to sphinx pose. And draw the shoulders back and down. Good, and then bend your right knee. For first, slide your right leg back so your hip goes back a little. Then bend your knee. Then take your right arm around and grab onto the inside of the foot. And then take your left arm, slide it forward. The elbow still on the ground. Then gently lift the elbow off the ground once your left arm goes all the way forward. I'm gonna move back just in case you can't see my whole body. And then lift your left arm up. Lift your left leg, lift your right leg, lift everything up for half bow. Good, so you're pushing your foot into your hand. You're looking forward. You're pressing, you're reaching your left foot back for three, two, one. Come back to Sphinx. That was really good for the lower back. Sh uh, strengthening, and then we're really opening up the chest there. So that's why I love half bow. Now slide your left hip back, left foot back. Bend your left knee, reach your left arm up and around and grab the inside of the foot and start to slide your right hand forward. Lift your elbow, kick your foot into your hand and lift your right leg and lift your right arm and left arm. So everything's lifted and you're reaching and kicking. Inhale. And on your exhale, you're releasing back down into Sphinx. Good. Put your forehead on your hands and wiggle your hips side to side. Okay, bring your head back up. This time we're gonna bend the knees, grab onto the outer edges of the feet or the ankles, whatever you wanna grab. Bow pose, ready? Kick your feet into your hands. So it's Urdhva Dhanurasana. I'm sorry, it's just Dhanurasana. Bow pose. Good, kick your feet into your hands and lift for three, two, one, release. Forehead on hands, windshield wiper your legs side to side. Release your legs, put your hands underneath your elbows, tuck your toes, lift your thighs, press up to plank. Good, and then downward facing dog. Breathe, big inhale, and sigh it out, exhale, good. Lift your right leg up, inhale, exhale, knee to your chest, step your foot between your hands, rise up to high lunge. Good. Right, then bend your left elbow, and then take your right arm out to the right, so your left elbow is pointing up to the sky. Right arm is out to the right, then internally rotate your right arm, and then bring the right hand behind your back. So you're going towards Gomukhasana arms, and you're still in your high lunge. And it doesn't matter if your hands are touching or not. Mine aren't, and I don't feel like trying to make them do that today, so I'm not going to. So you pick what works for you. If you have a strap, you can slide it here too, between your hands, and that should feel good. And then reach, lean forward, and we're rising up into warrior three. 
If you're like, no way, that's not happening, then just release your arms, put your hands to your heart, or do another version of Warrior Three. Otherwise, you're with me here. You're squaring the hips. Try to make the neck nice and long so you're not scrunching it down. Good. One more breath. And then step back to high lunge. Keep your arms where they are, just for a breath. And then release your arms, good. And then straighten your right leg. Put your hands on your hips. Step your back foot in a little bit for pyramid. Take your arms out wide. And then rotate your arms inwards, both of them. And bring your hands to reverse prayer on your, on your back. If you want to, you can also grab onto your elbows. That's an alternative. Square your hips forward, inhale. Exhale, fold over your right leg. And now stay here, gently release your hands down, walk them out in front of you and come into standing split. So lift your left leg high up to the sky. Good, and then we're gonna set the left knee down to the ground and sit down for Ardha Matsya so You're gonna sit all the way down and you're in Ardha Matsya Andrasana. I'm gonna face you. You have your right leg over, so it's gonna be on that side and you're sitting tall and you're planting your right foot down and then lengthen and twist to your right. So you're twisting the opposite way of me. Right fingertips behind you, left elbow, elbow to right knee. One more breath. Good. And then Come back to face forward, so, so you're still facing the front of your mat. Then you're gonna take your right leg, or swing it around for pigeon on the left side, just so we can get a little hip action in here. So square your hips, sit tall, slide your right leg back, and then walk your hands forward, come onto your elbows. From there, you're gonna walk your hands back up. Bend your right elbow, or your right knee, not your elbow, and then take your right arm around and grab onto your foot. If you can balance, you can lift your left arm up. If not, keep it down. Maybe the left arm goes up to the sky. Maybe your right foot slides inside of your right elbow, and then you clasp hands. Up to you, do what you can. No big deal wherever you are. Gently release everything down. I'm gonna step back into plank. And lower down slowly onto your forearms one at a time for a forearm plank. Lower your knees down to tap and then lift them back up. Knees tap and then lift up. One more time, they tap and then you lift up. And then lift your right leg up. Turn your right toes out to the right. Bring your right knee to your right upper arm. And then bring it back to plank. Lift your left foot up. Turn the left knee, left toes out to the left. Left knee to left upper arm, hold. Bring it back to plank. Rise back up onto your hands. Downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Rise up to high lunge, reach those arms up. Bend your right elbow, so the elbow goes in towards the center. Then take your left arm out to the left. Rotate the arm inwards, so the thumb is facing down. And then bring the arm all the way behind you and either clasp your hands or don't. For me, this side feels a lot easier, so I'm gonna clasp. No, sides may be very different and that's okay. And then shift forward. And when you're ready, come up into warrior three. And drawing the lower ribs up and in. You're keeping control of your pelvis and your torso, and your neck. Okay, and then gently step back to high lunge. Keep your arms where they are for a breath. 
and then unwind them. Good. Bring your hands to your hips. Straighten your legs. Step your back foot up and in for pyramid. Take your arms out wide and take reverse prayer. Good. Get your elbows, your hands up there. Maybe you're just grabbing your elbows. Draw the, el the shoulders back and then fold over your left leg. Release your hands down to the ground, standing split. Lift your right leg up. As high as you can. Good, and then we're gonna set the knee slowly down onto the ground, Ardha Matsyandrasana. Remember, left foot goes over to the right side. Sit tall, lengthen. Take your left fingertips behind you, hook your right elbow over your left knee and twist to your left. One more breath. And then come back to center. Okay, now swing your left leg behind you and set up for pigeon. So right knees all the way to the right. You have to readjust your whole body. Square your hips right over the center so you're not leaning to the right, you're not leaning to the left. Sit tall and then walk your hands forward and come onto your elbows. And we're not going super deep into pigeon just for a moment here, just being here. Then we can come back upright. And then we can bend the left knee, reach your left arm around, grab onto the inside of the foot. Either stay or maybe you reach your right arm up. Maybe you can slide your foot into the elbow and grab on clasp hands. And draw the ribs in. Square forward as much as you can. So you're not going to be perfectly for squared forward at all, but that's okay. And then release. Bring your hands down. Step back to. Um, plank pose, pause here in plank. Lower onto your forearms, hands flat. Dolphin, walk your feet in, all the way in, hips high. If you have a arm balance here, shoulder stand, then you can do that. Or forearm stand, not shoulder stand, forearm stand. If you wanna just stay here with me, stay here. Maybe lift the right leg to the sky. Set the right leg down. Maybe lift the left leg to the sky. Set your left leg down. Good. And then set your knees down when you're done. If you're up on your balance, slowly come down and take child's pose with your arms down by your sides. And then slowly come upright, all the way up. And then come into table. Let's just round the spine. So we've done a lot of opening, but let's do the opposite. So round the spine and cat, and then you can wiggle side to side. Should feel good on the neck. Staying rounded. And then come back into neutral. All right. It's coming through to, come on through to a seat. Actually come all the way onto your back. So we're laying all the way down. We're gonna bend the knees, put the hands flat on the ground. Take your feet as wide as the mat and then let the knees knock over to the right side. And you can put your right foot on top of your left knee if you want. That deepens it a little bit. You can take your arms overhead and grab onto your wrists or your elbows. And you may or may not feel this as a big stretch, and either way, it doesn't matter. Just be here, make it meditative. 
This is a big part of the practice is just being present no matter what's going on. And especially if it doesn't feel like a big stretch, then can you just stay present? Take your foot off of your knee, keep your arms where they are, but then bring your knees up, still as wide as the mat, and then over to the left side. And then you can place your left foot on top of your right knee. Notice the difference in sides. You may feel this on the, on the front of the right thigh, on the hip flex, right hip flexors, or you might feel it on the right uh, lower back. Feel the diaphragm expanding as you inhale and softening as you exhale. And then take your foot off of your knee and bring your knees up and hug those knees into your chest. Feeling a sense of joy for like the practice, the beauty of the practice. And grab onto the outer edges of the feet for happy baby. It's a nice way to end a practice. Good. And then when you're ready, you're going to release the legs all the way down for Shavasana. Legs long, arms wide. Body relaxes and softens. And I want you to ask yourself in this moment, how can I be kinder to myself right now? How can I be softer with myself? This practice helps take us out of the doing mind into the feeling or the being mind. A lot of, our t a lot of the time we're planning and compulsively doing things, planning our next move, stressing, worrying. And while we need some of that, too much of that can be harmful. And so when we do this practice, we let go of all of that. And we look inside and we ask ourselves, how can I soften? Because we can't think our way into peace. There's no possible way of thinking our way there. If you can read all the self-help books, then it won't get you there, but you have to feel it. You just have to feel it. So give yourself this next couple minutes to feel what it's like to rest, to rest the mind for once.
If you can stay a little bit longer, please do. It makes all the difference to stay longer in Shavasana. Otherwise, you can begin to awaken your body. And you can slowly come up to a seated position. If you're staying, enjoy your Shavasana. If you're ending your practice, thank you for practicing. Have a great day. Have a great night. Namaste.